Hello. Uh, my name is Zach. I am Miss Callie's boyfriend. Um, sorry, I'm not cuter. Anyway, this is just my video. Thank you for you guys wishing me a happy birthday. So Miss Callie told me that you guys would be interested in learning how to cook American dishes. Um, so I'm going to teach you guys the most American thing in the world, and that's how to cook breakfast, okay? You have it. Those are your ingredients for making the most American breakfast of all time. I'm talking about breakfast tacos. Uh, everywhere you look, people are going to be eating these tacos, and I'm going to teach you the secret on how to make them. What are you doing? Step one, we need a paper plate. Uh, you can get these anywhere. Most of the time I just let my, uh, my roommates buy them. Um, what you want to do is prepare the plate for the breakfast taco. And in America here, we put whipped cream as the base. You got to get a good base in there. You got to get your hand in there. You got to spread that out evenly all across the paper plate, okay? That's good. Step two, once you got your whipped cream base, you wanna add the most American ingredient. What is, Americans uh, here uh, are obsessed with coffee. So you wanna also put a little bit of coffee here on the, on the base of the plate. Um, <laughs> it, it's, gonna, it's gonna look a little weird here at first, but you, you gotta spread this out evenly across. It's, it's all about making the base for the breakfast tacos, okay? You gotta make sure that's spread nice and even. Yum. Oh my god, my stomach is rumbling and I'm ready to eat. Arguably the most important step. What you're gonna wanna do next is add sugar, and it has to be sugar in the raw, um, to the base of it. Well, what the whole point what we're trying to do here is make sure that the base is spread evenly here. Step uh, four, uh, one of the most important steps. Be sure to put your, your pizza up. Um, I don't even know why I took it out. You don't want it to get too warm because uh, warm cheese is a bad thing. Step five, um, the most important step. What you want to do now is add warm cheese to the base. Um, this You can get this anywhere. Um, it's really important. Um, warm cheese is really good. It's a good thing. And what you're going to want to do is spread that in. Spread that in as much as you can here to the base of the plate. Keep in mind this is for the breakfast taco. Um, this is where we're gonna we're gonna put the breakfast taco right here, and it's gonna taste really, really good. American stuff, American American cuisine. Step number six. Step outside. You've earned it. Step number seven, uh, sit down and watch some TV because that's what Americans do. Good stuff. Step eight, um, go ahead and start preheating the stovetop. Um, now, I have an open flame stovetop, so it's going to take a little less longer. But you want to make sure it's hot to the touch. You, you don't want to touch fire. Step nine, get, get your pan. Uh, make sure it's your favorite pan. Uh, this one's my favorite pan. That's why I keep it under my pillow. That's an American tradition. We keep our pans under our pillows. Step number 10, take a handful of a mystery ingredient. Um, it's very helpful if you don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know what this is, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the base. Um, this is really important because you want the base to be evenly spread out. Step 11, go ahead and add that water um, and let it, let it start to boil. Um, keep in mind this is your favorite pan and what you wanna do um, to make sure the water boils more evenly and more, because sometimes water will get boiled in one spot and be freezing cold in the other. So you wanna add cinnamon to it. Just like that much. You don't wanna use too much cinnamon. Step 12, you want to put a peach as close to the pot as you can, pan as you can. Um, you're not actually going to use the peach, it just helps the recipe if the peach is close to the water. 
Yum. That's getting nice and boiled really quickly here, and you can start to smell that cinnamon water wafting in. Step uh, 12, 13, whatever step we're on, you're going to add the base that you've been working so hard on into the water here. And you're going to hear it start dripping. That's, good. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Yeah. Step one, you're going to let this boil for 45 minutes. Um, so we're going to go find something fun to do while this is boiling. Woo, has it been 45 minutes already? Boy, that time flew by. Um, I wanna show you guys a couple of more steps and then we'll have our breakfast tacos, okay? So, um, one of the cool things about um, American cuisine is that if you leave something boiling long enough, it'll eventually stop. And then you reach into your cabinet and you pull out <laughs> a snowman coffee mug. And what you're gonna wanna do is transport as much of this as you can get in. Oh, look at that, that was a good transfer. Mm. And then we're gonna go ahead and take this over to the freezer and put it in there. Um, and we're gonna wait about 45 minutes. I mean, well, they like made me a video where it said like happy birthday and all this stuff and it was really sweet. Well, I, I just don't understand why you feel like I'm spending too much time on this. You, I mean, do something for yourself. Whatever, if you, I mean, if you're just gonna have an attitude, then maybe we shouldn't talk at all. Boy, has it been 45 minutes already, again? Well, it's time to go f uh, see what our finished product looks like, okay? So, um, I'll meet you guys in the kitchen. All right, guys, here's the final step. Let's see what our breakfast tacos turned into. <gasps> no way! Yes, three perfect breakfast tacos. Homemade, American style, made on my own here in, uh, in, in America. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it guys. I do want to thank you once again uh, for wishing me happy birthday. I hope you guys uh, learned a little something about American culture here today. I know that um, Miss Callie has taught me a lot about your culture and I hope you guys have a great rest of the year and uh, I hope you I hope you learn something